who says that Kevin Spacey groped him in a Nantucket bar is now suing the actor. WBZ's Beth Germano has the story. It could just come down to deadlines. The statute of limitations to file a civil suit against actor Kevin Spacey runs out next month, three years after his then 18-year-old accuser says the Oscar winner got him drunk and groped him at an Nantucket bar club car in July of 2016. The civil suit seeks unspecified monetary damages for emotional distress. As a result of defendant Kevin Spacey Fowler's explicit sexual behavior and lewd and lascivious conduct with the plaintiff. The plaintiff suffers, has suffered, and will continue to suffer in the future severe mental distress and emotional injuries. Yeah, Attorney Josh Tracy that. says the alleged victim's lawyer, Mitchell Garabedian, may also be trying to compel Spacey to answer questions about what happened that night to help the criminal case the actor is already fighting. Discovery reasons, seeking information from Mr. Spacey that perhaps uh, Mr. Garabedian hopes to share with the prosecution um, in the criminal case. Spacey has pled not guilty to indecent assault and battery, and his attorneys have claimed the accuser, the son of former Boston television anchor Heather Unruh, is just trying to get money from a high-profile figure. The bar for a civil suit is much lower than the criminal case, where questions have already been raised about a missing cell phone the defense is seeking from the accuser, trying to recover text messages related to the incident. The civil suit also demands a jury trial, which Tracy says in the era of the Me Too movement could be effective. You have a very public figure in Mr. Spacey. There has been a movement afoot to try to redress uh, uh, injuries uh, suffered by people who have been abused by very public people. And the criminal case moves back to court on July 8th when the judge has set a deadline for the missing cell phone to be produced.